Far deadlier than COVID-19, superbugs have been declared the new silent pandemic. We chat to Bruce Manuel about Africa Health taking place at Gallagher Convention Center. I think we should establish this conversation by telling us what exactly superbugs are and the cause. Well, thanks for having me on the show. Superbugs have been around for a long time. In fact, um, bugs have been around for, for millions of years. The reason it's called superbugs of late is because they've been mutating, they've been changing to adapt to, to the environments uh, that we now live in. Um, and it's become a serious problem um, around the world. And um, what we call hospital-acquired infections as a result of patients uh, contracting the bugs or the mm -hmm. superbugs in hospital environments um, and then ultimately, ultimately dying. So it's a serious, serious global problem. Um, it's a serious uh, war that is, that is happening and that we are grappling with uh, from a global perspective. Now, it's said that superbugs are deadlier than COVID-19, with it being the new pandemic. Uh, where would you say these superbugs can be, or this infection can be found? Well, by and large, if you think about it in, in a hospital environment, mm -hmm. okay, um, you would find them there. But you can find them anywhere. You mm -hmm. know, superbugs don't discriminate. Um, they don't distinguish between a public and a private hospital. They don't distinguish between a school, for example, or an office building, you know, they, they, they float anywhere in, uh, in the air or they can be on surfaces uh, in any uh, environment. But by and large, it's concentrated in a, in a hospital environment. So that's why, uh, you know, it's important for those environments, environments to be cleaned as often as possible. But I think the underlying uh, point there is the products that you are utilizing to clean those environments. Mm. Um, you know, you need to ask certain questions. Are they the right products for those environments? Um, are, are they um, certified by the regulatory authorities in, in the countries uh, where they are sold? And are the companies doing continuous testing? Mm. <laughs> because they can't profess to kill all bugs. Mm. I mean, otherwise they would have solved the world's COVID problem. So just to take a step back prior to COVID, this has been an issue <laughs> that has been, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, in the underlying um, belly, mm -hmm. if, I can, if I can use that analogy, um, in the health sector, health sector for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And COVID has just highlighted that issue now. Mm -hmm. um, and then COVID came along, suddenly everybody, everybody was focused on hand hygiene, uh, something as simple as that. And, and more, and everybody became an expert, mm -hmm. uh, a fundi, on how to make um, uh, hand hygiene uh, uh, products. So, you know, you need to be careful. Um, uh, you know, products you use is it for the right environment, and just keep in mind, you do not know what is out there. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't mm -hmm. know what's in the, in the air, what's on the surfaces. Um, to the naked eye, it might look clean, but it, it can be the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. Now, as someone that has been in the health sector for years yourself, what products have you established uh, to put in measures for this particular infection? Well, you know, again, before COVID, um, I think PMB Health and Safety Services was just in the right place at the right time when COVID came along. But I'd like to take a step back. Mm -hmm. You know, we started to understand the health space um, pre-COVID, mm -hmm. specifically so from a health and safety perspective. Um, you know, how safe are these environments? One, for staff that are, that are working there. They spend immense amounts of hours um, in those environments. So how safe are those environments for, for the staff? And ultimately, the patient sits at the center of this. Um, you know, how safe is it for, for patients to mm. be in those environments? So we started to understand this and uh, talking to, you know, to, to end users in those environments. Um, and there were some serious challenges. And um, again, <laughs> I guess we were in the right place at the right time. Um, COVID came along. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the right solutions at the time that matched the challenges uh, uh, during COVID. And PMB has then evolved through COVID mm -hmm. to now, and we're quite proud of this fact, all our products, all our products are 100% manufactured in South Africa. Um, so now the, the, the conversation changes for PMB. We know the products are quality, mm. solving challenges in the health environment uh, beyond COVID, um, is now we are talking about how do we contribute to the economy now on a broader mm. scale? 
You know, now we're talking about uh, creating jobs, um, contributing to the GDP of this country, elevating the, the scientific and health uh, uh, conversation, not just from a South African perspective, but onto the continent and, and contributing on a global scale. So we're quite proud of that fact and, you know, and, and, and seen our trajectory uh, sort of grow and, and, and now we've evolved now to where we are. And it's quite exciting mm. what, what, what's, what's, you know, what we're working towards now. For people that are watching right now, how can people get those products? Well, for now, the product is uh, exclusively available just into the health sector. Um, we are mindful that there's quite a few products in, on the retail uh, side of things. But the one particular product, we could move into the retail space. But for now, we want to be confident that we are solving the challenges in, in the health space, specifically uh, hospitals, clinics, um, and, and uh, your, your GP uh, uh, office mm. space. Um, so we will look in time across into other sectors. Uh, when I say retail space, um, you know, a product could even be used in your home in mm. time, mm. but also office space, you know, schools, as yes. I've mentioned. You spend a lot of time in your, in, your, in your office environment. You know, how sure are you that when you come to work and you walk into your environment, mm. that the air, uh, the quality of the air is good, mm. right? Are your employees taking care of that environment so that you can function optimally? Because at the end of the day, if you get sick as a yeah. result of your environment, that impacts your, you know, your production, next, yeah. exactly, and the economy, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. So we'd like for executives to start thinking about, okay, am I doing enough you know, to, to, to ensure that uh, my employees are safe? Is the environment safe? Mm. Now let's talk about Africa Health. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it and what is the objective? So Africa Health has been going now for a number of years. Um, the, the objective of, of Africa Health is to bring uh, the health sector from um, the continent, from South Africa and even from, the, from the, the rest of the world, bring everybody together in, at Gallagher State in Midrand to talk about healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, not just to talk about it, but also to share experiences, and, and, and that's the beauty of science. Mm. You know, we must embrace the fact that um, your view on a particular subject matter might differ to mine, um, but then lies, you know, the importance of talking to each other, mm. um, is to find that commonality so we can solve a particular problem, COVID being, being a case in point. We need to talk. Mm. And I think that's one of the, the shortcomings <laughs> from a global perspective, yes. that we weren't talking to each other. Um, so it brings, you know, everybody, uh, uh, top scientists together, uh, uh, policymakers together. It brings manufacturers together, and and we talk and we share, but also to showcase innovations. And that's where uh, why we are exhibiting at Africa Health this year, which starts on the 17th of October. And we're quite proud of the fact that, um, you know, we're showcasing South African products. Over and above that, we are hosting a workshop on the 18th of October. And um, what we have learned um, in talking to our, our end users is that there's a genuine need to, to build and strengthen capacity, specifically around infection prevention and quality assurance. And that was one of, one of the lessons we learned coming uh, through COVID and out of COVID, not just as a business, um, but I think, um, in the health sector in South Africa in general, is that there needs to be a focus uh, on improving uh, how, we, how we look at infection prevention. Our, our, our pr protocols, our methodologies, are they sound, are they relevant? Mm. Do you know, in this day and age, given that I've mentioned bugs have mutated. So, you know, we'd like to also then see a paradigm shift, mm. you know, a thinking, think differently, you mm. know. Mm. The bugs are, are mutating, we can't see them, mm. right? So are we ready? Are we ready for those challenges that are about to come? You know, so that's the narrative, uh, you know, we're putting forward uh, during our workshop. And we've got some very smart people coming in to talk about this. Um, it's not just, uh, you know, PMB and, 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 and our staff talking about it, but we've got some very smart people coming in as far as from Dubai, globally respected people, um, you know, coming in to talk about surgical site infections. Uh, we've got um, professors that are experts in the field of biosecurity. So it's, it's, it's quite exciting mm. for us. And, mm. you know, it's not just a product, but it's also to create a conversation mm. um, so we can elevate the focus on the need 
to change. Yes. When is this conference taking place? So on the 18th of October um, at Gallagher Estate from one o'clock um, until four o'clock. And, uh, you know, people can register on our website. We encourage them to do so. Um, and this is in parallel to, to the Africa Health Trade Show that starts on the 17th and ends on the 19th of October. And uh, also, can you just also touch on if this program is for the public or is this mainly for a certain amount of people that have been reached out to? Well, look, it's, it's for everybody. Mm-hmm. We need to create the conversation um, on this, elevate the conversation on this. You know, during COVID, what fascinated us as a business is that we went back to basics in a way. Hand hygiene yeah. became so important. And it, it seems now that, you know, we sort of through, you know, the worst of it. Um, something as simple as washing your hands has been forgotten, mm. you know. So by and large, though, um, it, the workshop is tailored towards um, the end users, you know, uh, uh, C-suite executives uh, in a hospital environment, your nurses, uh, your doctors. But we encourage the public to, to attend because knowledge is power, mm. you know, and the right knowledge <laughs> is important. Mm. Because also through COVID, everybody, as I've mentioned, was manufacturing uh, uh, chemicals in their backyard and they became scientists. Mm. We're not discouraging that, but, you know, also think about it. You could be making the problem worse if, you know, if you don't truly understand the, you know, the scientific uh, platform or backgrounds and the nuances behind it. And, um, and that's why we're bringing in, as I call the clever people, to, to talk about okay. this. Yeah. Now, uh, just to take it back a bit, you did mention that during COVID, obviously people took precautions of washing their hands, wearing masks and mm. so forth. What other precautions can people take to avoid uh, your superbugs? Yeah, make sure the products that you are choosing, right, um, the claims that are made on those products, um, you know, make sure that is accurate, okay, firstly. Um, we do have a, a good regulated environment in, in South Africa that protects consumers. Um, to check if those products, um, you know, they are registered with those uh, regulatory authorities. Uh, it's difficult for a consumer to, to test, yeah. right? So for us in, in the business of healthcare, that's what we do, mm. right? We make, we don't just make the claims, we back it up. So we're continuously testing. We cannot sit there and say we kill all bugs. Mm. Otherwise, I would have solved the world's COVID problem <laughs> and I'd be on a yacht somewhere. <laughs> but, Relax, but, no yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but that's impossible. So it's, it's worse off for the consumer, you know, um, the, the ordinary consumer. But just make sure your products that you are procuring, um, the claims that are made, you know, you have the right to ask those questions. You can call, pick up the phone and call that company, mm. you, you know, if there's any doubts or concerns. And you you can ask questions. Bruce, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.